uh, as I see, if you watched the last video, you know this one's going to be the conversion part. So I'm going to do some videos as we uh, convert this to the commercial greenhouse. And I don't know if we call this uh, conversion or just individual titles, or I don't know. But uh, I filmed this for a couple minutes and I had my radio on. <laughs> and I know uh, he'll give me a takedown notice with that playing in the background. But speaking of that, see this radio looks like a little radio, solar, but it has a hand crank. So if the sun's not out, if I crank that 30 seconds, it'll play for 30 minutes. So kind of a good way out here to work and not have to use any power. Okay. Okay, somebody asked, this is the Free Play Plus. Highly recommend it. And of course it has a light on the side, LED. First thing we're gonna be doing is this bed here is coming out. Uh, what I plan on doing is this tree here, this tree here, and this tree here. I'm gonna transplant into pots. Those are oranges. And we haven't decided if we wanna keep them or not, or give them away, so we'll put them in pots for now. Prune them down and put them in pots. And this jalapeno plant here is pretty new. So what I'm gonna put that in a pot too is to get a jump start on some jalapenos. But what I did already was I added this post. We have a central post going up. And down at the bottom, I noticed it's just starting to show just a, it's cedar, but it was just starting to show a little sign of breakdown and stuff. So better safe than sorry. I put that three and a half feet down and concreted it and put this on top. Uh, and then I got to cut those off, but I put that bolt in, that bolt in, obviously, to this side here and this side here, just to give this a little more beef. These are here just to hold it in place while I was drilling, so those will come off. But now that that's done, we will tear this bed out. So I'll show you periodically what I do. I might show you about transplanting the oranges. I don't know, but we'll harvest the cabbages today, and I'll get all that done. I guess I say we, but I actually mean me. <laughs> and hot cayenne pepper and there's a uh, hot tie here then there's yeah i think there's another pepper plant down down here that i want to keep that we got seeds from a friend of ours from taiwan so i think well he's from taiwan but I think the seeds came from somewhere else. I don't know, but they're really hot, spicy peppers and really don't know the name. But uh, as you can see, the cabbages, put my hand on here for size, or you know, are pretty much ready to go. So a couple of them are smaller, but most of them are on the large. I say smaller grocery size. When I say grocery size, that's small to us. So we'll harvest them and I'll make some sauerkraut and we'll beat some cabbage in the next. And I make a cabbage hot dish that freezes real well. So I'll make some of that and then freeze them and so we'll have some dinners and lunches so this is the first video on the conversion and we'll do the i'll do this periodically because i want to document to the public everything i do for this uh conversion in case somebody's interested in doing the same so this is the first step taking everything out these will be coming out too these uh water containers uh these are ibcs we fill with water and put black to absorb the heat during the day and release it at night so and those will come out and so, but first we got to do this, and this is all by hand since uh, I can't get a tractor or anything in here. So, this will take a little while, but here we go. I uh, might not even get to the digging today because with all the transplanting. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey everybody, I want to talk about this uh, pepper plant right here. Uh, I jumped up there, and it's about seven feet tall. That's from the dirt level here, not the ground. So, in the ground here, it's about nine feet up in the air. The reason I want to talk about this one is the age of pepper plants. As you can see, it's still got some peppers going on it, and it's still working. It's still very productive. Probably our productive one ever. It's a big Bertha style. It is, well, this summer, spring, whenever, it'll be four years old, this spring, summer. So this is a four-year-old, so as long as they don't freeze, they keep producing over and over. The only thing we had to do is you can see the tomato cage down here. And we turn the tomato cage upside down there. But this is coming out today. It's going to be kind of hard to see to go, being four years old and all, and just so productive and good. 
Uh, this one is, I think, just one year behind it. Could be the same age, but I think it's this one's three years old. So as long as they don't freeze, you can see they last a long time. So that's it. I thought I'd let you know that about the peppers. Hi, right, guys. Two, three hours, I got this done. Transplanted the plants. Three peppers, two uh, orange trees, and everything else cleaned out. So it's all cleaned out. Hose taken off because we had it irrigated. Now to tear it apart and start digging all the dirt out. So just thought I'd pass as long as I go. Okay, guys, there's the bed completely empty. Got it out. That was some, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was some work there. You can see down there. Uh, what it was was I counted 43 of these wheelbarrows full and, you know, mounted. So 43 of the wheelbarrows, those big, uh, that's about a, oh, six, six, nine cubic foot. I think it's a nine cubic foot one but uh it's done so now all i gotta do is take the wood off and then i can start digging the hole down here for my sump so that's it just giving you progress as i go